Hey there guys, so today I am going to prune the frost damage off this poor little tree. And I'm going to use these shears. I got these off of Amazon. Uh, they were re uh, recommended by the Millennial Gardener channel. I bought these because I wanted something very sharp. Ooh, they are. To nip off the frost damage. But these are some Japanese shears and I am not really trying to keep up with the Joneses and buy the most expensive, beautiful, whatever they make. So I opted to buy these instead. I like Japanese products and I'm not a brand name chaser. Put that one right there. I don't know if that came out on camera or not. I looked away. I think this branch is gonna go. That was a little too close. I'm gonna take this one off right there. And you know, if anybody out there knows how to do this, please tell me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping to like uh, fix this a little bit. I actually think I'm gonna take this whole branch off just so you guys can see what I'm seeing. I don't know if you could see that brown bit inside the stem. When I look down here, there's a split. Oh, yeah, right there. I don't think that's a good, good sign for that branch, so it's gotta go. And this one here, it crosses all the way over, but this one isn't. Are we able to see? Sorry, guys. So, I think I'm gonna just nip this right in the bud, right there. And when I look down and see a little split like right here. I can't imagine that's good. It might let pest and disease in. So I'm gonna take it back to this next node right there. Okay, let's stand back and look. Oh, she's already looking a little better, a little better. Not great, but better. <clears throat> and I did cover this poor tree. I covered her up and it, it just was, not enough. Uh, next year, if we're gonna get hard frost like that, I will probably, um, let's see, can you see this? Boop. I will probably make a frost tent out of it. And if I have to, I'll put some lights in there. I mean, I gotta keep my kids safe here. This is the first tree I've ever planted and my husband and I planted it together when we bought this house, well, not long after. And, oops, I'm gonna go farther down this branch. I don't know if you can see, let me zoom in and back up a little. There is quite a bit of splitting here. So, oh yeah, oh boy, hang on, let me show you. See that right there? I'm gonna take the whole thing off. I even see a brown spot right there. All right, let's see if I can do this on camera. There we go. Now this does make me sad because it did have some new growth, but overall a lot less than the rest of the tree. And it has really bad splits all over in it from cold weather. I can see it everywhere. All into the bark. And I'm gonna cut this one. Oh, that was too close, doggone it. That may die, but the one below it'll be fine. This one, sorry about the camera angle, right there. So we're gonna come on this one, boop, right there. I was uh, 
lucky enough, I think it might have been the Millennial Gardener channel. They were saying not to trim citrus if there's any risk of frost because it produces a hormone to make new growth and that will hurt the tree even more. All of this is dead. I don't know, maybe to here? Hmm. I am gonna take these off and maybe just look at the tree. Oh, I see a split right here. I'm gonna come right here. So there's a split, let me see if I can get a better right there. So I'm gonna come down to this one. All right, so we've got more up top here. And it looks like there's a bit of splitting right here. So I wanna, oh, I see some more right here too. I wanna go below all of that. Oh, there's a little bit here. So it looks like on this side, probably right there. Oh, there's a good split right there too. Okay, is there anything down farther? Nope. So I think we will go just to right. I don't know if you can see that. Right where the split ended. No discoloring in the branch. I've been looking at each one. If uh, The only one that I cut and saw brown I definitely took that off. Now, this branch here has a lot of splitting. Ooh, look, a wee little crab spider. Where are you at, Key? Match my tree. Oh, so cute. All right, so as you can see, there's a pretty good split right here. So I just nip that off there. All right, I am scared to do much more. But let's stand back and look at her. I should probably balance her out by nipping some of that mess off right here. I'm hoping that some of these will go out nicely. I really hated to do this, but I did lose quite a bit of this tree. Here's a branch with some pretty good splits and the leaves don't look very happy. So I'm gonna find the splits and cut it off right where they stop. This one has a lot of splits too. So I cut it off, but I'm done for now. Any other splits that are there are just gonna stay there. I am encouraging downward growth as much as possible to shade the trees. You can see that's beginning at skirt, so I'm gonna start encouraging anything that drops down to keep going. Oh my. There is a bit of a problem on this right here. This, I'm gonna do this last one because this should take care of it. Ready? And that was painful. They had a big old split right there. And yeah, they'll heal, mostly. But, uh... Oh, this got a split here. I'm gonna have to stop looking at this tree in a minute, or it's just gonna get... It'll be a stick in a minute. I think this tree looks terrible now. I sort of want to cry, but... Hopefully it bounces back. I see tons of purple growth. Little out shoots everywhere. I look on the tree. I'll hit it with some more fish fertilizer. And hopefully it will really just go crazy before the sun gets too intense. Uh, but now that I've cut all of this up, I am going to break all this down into little bitty pieces and this is just chop and drop Ooh, smells good it smells lemony fresh out here i just uh chop all of this up into little bits and just leave it right here 
I don't like it. I really don't like the way this tree looks on this side. It looks terrible. But guys, I'm just not going to prune any more off of this poor thing right now. No, I'm just not. This variegated lemon tree is super ornamental. It's a really beautiful addition to my yard. The new growth is purpley. And supposedly the flowers are too. I did see a bud. It was also about the same color as that. And supposedly they open cream with like a kind of a purple throat and base. Or lavender. Yeah. So, totally. Cannot wait to eat the fruit off of this. Anyway, for now, my little tree is pruned. I definitely like these. Thank you so much for the recommendation. It certainly wasn't to me personally. But good info out there on YouTube is always welcome. I wanted a really nice pair of long-lasting shears. Now, of course, I just got them. They may not last 10 days, but I think they will. They feel very heavy-duty. They got a nice spring action to them. They went through these like butter. I, I, I am perfectly happy. They do the job. Inexpensive, well-made Japanese tools. Gotta love them. All right, guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out that channel linked below so you can find information on uh, where to buy these at Am on Amazon. His link is below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now.